Hi YouTube, Octave here with another guide video for the Maple On Air event. Today I will be going over the Train Conductor minigame that is running now until February 8th for all characters level 200 and above. This is a great way to level Link skills from level 2 to level 3. I'm currently going to finish my Lara to level 210 for the Lara event rewards. Um, the event map can be located on the right star, the star on your left. Um, to access the event map. From here, the goal of the minigame is to move around the map and deliver items to six different towns. Hennessy in the north left, Kerning City in the upper middle, Perion in the top right, Elania in the bottom left, uh, Lith Harbor in the bottom middle, and Nautilus in the bottom right. Um, they require items related to their respective towns and you can go around the train track and deliver the items. When passing through towns with the correct item, you will automatically obtain 1000 points. You can earn an additional 500 points if you deliver two of the same item to the correct town. If, you, if the items are glowing in the nearby city, they offer double points when you deliver them. If you find a flame, you will increase your train speed and move around the map faster. No penalty will happen if you go over a town with the wrong item. Once your team earns 50,000 points, the game will end and you will be rewarded with EXP. The limit for the event is two times a day to earn EXP. You can play it additional times, but will not earn additional EXP. I just went over a train in there and now I'm running at two times the speed. You are able to look at it through flames for that. Um, I did realize that none of the items change between towns. Um, so you can pick and choose which area you go to and kind of plan accordingly. Your train and its corresponding color will be shown on the bottom, on the top right. Um, and it'll show which item or which arrow keys you're using. Always hold the arrow key of the track that you want to go to next. Just makes it a little bit easier for you going forward. If at any point you want to stop your momentum, you just press space. However, you won't be able to backtrack from where your train's already going. Um, with there being a lack of penalty by not going over something or going over a town that doesn't have your item, um, I don't really see a reason why you would need to stop your train. Um, but you're more than welcome to if you'd like. Um, my first two games definitely went by pretty quickly, um, even though I didn't know what I was doing. So I do recommend you just moving around as much as possible um, and getting used to the track. The town's items don't change at all during it. Um, so you can, you can find out which rotation's best for you. Um, yeah if you guys haven't hit the button to subscribe yet please subscribe um i also go live on twitch uh three to four times a week and i do my boss carries on friday so if you'd like to follow there as well that would be amazing there's links in the description below um as you can see uh we just move around um, i'm getting a little bit more comfortable with the game um I collected a fish, which means that I have to go to Lith Harbor, and a Junior Neki skin, which means I have to go to Kerning City as well. So I just passed there, and I'm making my way to Lith Harbor now. Um, and I found out that the pearls um, are usually right next to Nautilus, which is makes it a little bit easier. Um, I'm taking my Evil Eye skin to Alenia, and now taking the pearl over there. I'll grab this pearl and give it to them as well and then make my way up to Perion. Get a flame so I run at super speed. I missed that train which is unfortunate but I can always get it on the way back. I'm actually shocked at how quick this mini game goes relative to the other ones. I think this is even faster than the cooking mini game um, the puzzle one was definitely the slowest by far 
Your train isn't impeded by anyone else's game, so you can drive over them or do anything like that. And there we go, we have 3,000 extra points just for good measure. Like I said, it's a great way to get experience points. Um, I just finished leveling my Lara up to 210. Six minutes for me to get 20, it's about 30% EXP. Uh, even at that level is fairly amazing. Um, and that's it. A very quick, simple guide. Um, if you do have any more questions about the train event, please comment in the comment section below. Like the video if you can, subscribe, that would be amazing. And yeah, I hope to see you guys another time. Thank you so much for watching. And happy Maple Leaf.